What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Tonight. So, I'm going to record a big video after this, man. I've already recorded it, but I'm going to put it up after this video. So, I talk about a lot of stuff there, but uh, in this segment, y'all know what happened, man. So, I didn't want to make this video too long because, like I said, I went into too much in that video. So, I'm going to kind of redirect y'all to go watch that one. To hear more of my opinions about this stuff. But uh, basically, in this segment, we had the Ding Dong, Bailey segment. Uh, Ding Dong, hello segment. And uh, Bailey was masterful in this segment, man. I think Bailey was definitely needed for this segment. Um, because Bailey was kind of like an instigator, too. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it, it, it basically just set up, you know, Gigi and JC getting some, getting some things out about themselves and um, looking like they were going to come back to being best buds. But they, they were kind of bickering at each other. At one point, this is the funniest thing, man. And the crowd was laughing, too. <laughs> they were like, damn. JC said Gigi looked like a hobo who banged a Chucky down on Saturday with her ring gear. Because I, I remember mentioning this on Saturday, like, that her look, right, like Gigi's look, I'm like, damn, she got like this dark eyeshadow and all this other stuff going on. I'm like, she looked like she was dead, bro. <laughs> it with the red hair makes sense why she said she looked like Chucky, though. Uh, but it was funny, man. <laughs> JC got jokes. She got jokes, bro. I'm telling you, man, JC gonna be so special. She gonna be so special. She needs to lead the new Toxic Attraction. So, anyways, they basically played out the. I don't know how many of y'all, especially youngsters, actually seen the Shawn Michaels Marty Jannetty segment at the barbershop on WWF Superstars a long, long time ago. Like this is like 91, 92 when they did this segment, and this was really what propelled Shawn Michaels, and they're doing the same thing with JC because JC has always been compared to being like a female Shawn Michaels. Oddly enough. Shawn Michaels books the shows. So, he probably sees a lot of himself in JC. So, they basically did the same thing. Now, it looked like... So, at one point, it looked like they were going to get back on the same page as Bay looked like she was putting them back together. But then JC was cold-blooded. She turned on her and kicked Gigi into the door. They should have used the glass or something because the door did not smash through and I think Gigi really got hurt from it because she had some marks it didn't go as plain then she kicked her as well so I was like damn man she super kicked Gigi and then what was interesting was Toxic Attraction music play after that so it's got me wondering if Toxic Attraction is going to die or not I feel like it's about to be JC Jane as the new leader I think that's the direction that they're going in and they need to put Tiffany Stratton in that group and Tatum Paxley. If they do it, Gigi could be on her own now. She could raise her star power that way. And this puts G G uh, JC in a position of power. And I think that's what Bailey wanted to see. You know what I'm saying? And I put up a poll uh, around the weekend. And I asked y'all, uh, by the way, great turnout, over 1,000 likes in this poll. 65 likes. I mean, 1,000 votes, uh, 65 likes. I thank everybody who voted. Basically, I asked y'all who y'all think she was going to try to recruit, Gigi Dolan or J.C. Jane? 79% Gigi Dolan, 21% J.C. Jane. See, this is why y'all need to watch the next video because I'm going to go in a little bit deeper about my thoughts on it, but I'm going to leave it up to y'all right now to just get y'all early comments in on this segment. Great segment, by the way. Great segment. I love the way the storyline been building up. It, 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 it's some bloodline type stuff right here. Not better than the bloodline, but it, it's, it was up there, though. It was up there, though. Um, of the best type of, like, breakups I've seen from a heel stable. I, I, I love it. I love it. But I'm going to be back to wrap this, on, wrap this one up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go going ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App dollar sign Sack Exchange to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more. Thank you.
So, yeah, man. Um, the, like I said, this was interesting because I'm curious to see the way they're going to do this. Now, that's why I say I need to watch the next video because I'm going to go over the whole, my whole plans of what they should do. My whole plans of what they should do. Because I think, like I said, it's going to be very interesting if J.C. Jane, if they keep Toxic Attraction alive, but J.C. Jane is the one that takes over. Then I want to see what they do with Gigi now that she's solo now. Probably away from the group. J.C. recruits two other members. I hope it's like Tiffany Stratton and Tatum Pax, like I was saying. Or J.C. Jane gets... See, I, I will leave J.C. Jane in NXT because now that she's starting to get recognized... She can become a star down there like Mandy Rose. Leave her down there. instead of Because right, I think what they could do too is put her in damage control. And I'm not sure if I like that one. But obviously it'll work because... But I will try to build up her star power more. You know, before you do anything. That way she can have a bigger impact when she comes on the main roster. So let's see what they do. Because we got a lot of answers from this, but... It's a lot of questions that followed as well. So I'm going to do my next video. I'm going to have y'all listen to that. Thank y'all for watching all my NXT videos this week. I'll be back with y'all next week for the NXT. And for those of y'all that's watching SmackDown, I'll see y'all in as well in Raw. Thank y'all for watching. After news to light.